This is such a sweet moment. I want to remember this forever. So it's just me and these four at Sam's Club this morning, and I didn't write a list, but on the drive here, I asked each of the kids to remember a couple things, so hopefully that works out. Lacey, what are you in charge of remembering? Um, fresh, fresh salsa. Kayla, what are you in charge of remembering? Juice boxes. Good job. Isaac? Paper products. Nice, nailed it. We did it, now I just have to go load it up in the car, and I even successfully, sneakily, bought a birthday present for Isaac. And he doesn't even know it's in here. Is it like right down the middle? I hit it. Hmm. <laughs> it's not easy to sneakily buy a birthday present as a mom, so I feel like that's like worth major mom points. So during lunch, Isaac asked me to play this game where we pull out music from classical composers and they try to figure out who it is and they guess. And it's fun. Uh, and we just finished Bach? Chopin? No. Yeah. Good guess. And we just finished um, For Elise and I love it. For Elise? Yeah. For Elise. What is my right here for oh, Elise? Beethoven didn't write it for you? Okay. But I like playing it so that's he, it's he a fun plays song it to play. Me. You play it for Elise? Mm -hmm. We were hoping to mail a package to some family, but the post office office part of it is closed, but they do have this kiosk here for self service. So I'm gonna give that a try. All right, stick it in there. Okay, Caleb, lift it up. I see ours. We sent the package. This is such a sweet moment. I want to remember this forever. So somebody got in a little bit of trouble at our house and he was in timeout and then he said, Mom, Dad, I'm ready for you. And I came in to see him and he had written us the sweetest little note. Do you want to show him, Caleb? Love mom and dad. I, sorry that I disobey. Love mom and dad. This is so sweet. Caleb, did you write that note all by yourself? I'm so proud of you. I always send it in a, this in an envelope. Oh, you can't send it in an envelope. That's why I'm going to take a picture of it so we can have it forever. You know, we all make mistakes in life, and I'm so proud of you, Caleb. That was so nice of you to write an apology note. What are you guys doing? We're seeing which birds would be good for a basketball team logo. You're trying to pick birds that would make a good logo for a team? Yeah, mm -hmm. because I'm going to make teams like the L.A. Toucans, and they're all going to be birds. The Florida Flamingos. Well, Something like that? No, like the Florida brown pelicans. They are brown pelicans from Louisiana. Cool. The Arizona cactus wrens. Let's go get our haircut now. Okay, let's go get our haircut now. Let's go. You guys want to drive with the windows down? Yeah. All it's the gonna way. It's going to be a warm breeze. It will be warm. I think it's like 95, 96 degrees it's out It's in here. the 90s. Yes, my car still manually rolls down the window. So I love listening to soundtracks. I have a CD in right now of soundtracks and the kids are rocking out to it with me. So this is from National Treasure. National Treasure. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Potter. Jurassic Park. Yeah, this is Jurassic Park. It's really good. When I go to bed. Oh yeah, have I showed you before? Sometimes when I'm putting the kids to bed, I'll listen to soundtrack music too. It's probably one of my favorite genres. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Is there a soundtrack that you really love from a movie? Let, let me know what your favorite movie soundtrack is or one of your favorites. So we're finally gonna fix that time that Caleb cut his own hair. It's gonna look good. We 
You look great, buddy. Looks good, Elise. What do you think? I like it. So I woke Laura up from her nap about an hour ago and she's just been kind of cranky. Like she had taken a two hour nap and if I don't wake her up, then she's a bear to put to bed at night. And so I had to wake her up. Anyway, then I didn't see her for like a few minutes. I was busy with the other kids and I was like, where's Laura? And I come into her room and look what I found. She put herself back to bed. I feel so bad waking her up again because she must be so tired, but if she sleeps now, she'll never sleep tonight. And then of course in the back of my brain, I'm like, is she getting sick? I hope not. So we came in to Top Golf, Kendra and I, for our date tonight. But it's a two and a half hour wait, and you can't call ahead and make a reservation. And we drove, we drove 30 minutes. I don't know. Here's what we know. This is a good idea, and we're gonna do it another day. All right, well, we decided to go with plan B, which is just to go out to dinner together, and we're going to a famous Kansas City barbecue place, which is called Jack Stack. And Jeremy and Brent both really love barbecue, so I think you're gonna enjoy this. You know you're at a barbecue place when they bring out your side salad and it looks like this. It's huge. Good night, GSL. My name is Kendra. Oh, your name is Kendra. Then what's my name? Your name is Kendra.